Pause for thought on BBC Radio Devon. All this week we're in the company of Gina Awad, who uh, works with dementia and people who suffer from... And uh, do, Would you say, Gina, that people are becoming more aware of, of dementia? Yeah, definitely. I think it's, you know, I just need to pick up on the, the, the term suffer, Tim, because it's interestingly a, a, a word that uh, many people use and people living with dementia would rather be sort of, you know, associated as living with dementia rather than the word suffer purely because um, it kind of feels like it diminishes who they are but um, yeah it, it's just so much more um, people are so much more aware of it and there's so much more research going into it so I think it's, it's really important and it's, it's great the work that's going on. Because the, sti the statistics are that the numbers of people who will in their life su uh, <laughs> have the condition, sorry yeah. I nearly used the word suffer yeah, again yeah. but um, uh, it, it's staggeringly high isn't yeah, it? Yeah it is I mean there's 850,000 people living with a diagnosis but I can assure you many many people that aren't diagnosed and out of that there's around 40,000 people that are living with young onset dementia so they're under 65. Goodness me. Mm. Well let's have your pause for thought for today. Be the change you want to see in the world. A quote from Gandhi. I realise I live my life by. Passion is exhilarating and drives me in the field of dementia. Raising awareness in the community with the knowledge that this acquired understanding for others is ultimately making a difference for people living with dementia and their families. This feels crucial to me. From waking in the morning until sleeping at night, it is never far from the forefront of my mind. This is why I'm known in Exeter as a dementia activist. Interestingly, passion is a word where the modern application contradicts the original meaning. The word itself comes from the Latin root word patior, which means to suffer. Its present use is one of describing an intense desire, which fits my motivation. In the contemporary version, it is unclear if the drive comes from inside a person or if it is an outside force working on the individual. For me, it feels as if it comes from an innate internal desire that is unshakable. Despite many challenges over the past few years, and there have been many in my role as a dementia activist, I seem to bounce back stronger and more determined to continue with my vision. About 12 years ago, a dear friend of mine and I were sat having lunch, and as we chatted, I shared with her how I felt I was here to make a difference in my community, but I had no idea what it was. At that time, it felt extremely powerful, like a deep inner knowing. She reminded me of this about two years ago, when we reflected where I'd come with my dementia passion over the last few years. She said, do you remember you said to me how you felt you were, you were here to make a difference? Well, I think you've found what you're looking for. She was certainly right. I wonder where my passion will lead me over the next 12 years. Thank you very much, Gina. And uh, Gina returns with pause for thought tomorrow. Now, let's